everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you've had the most amazing week. I hope you are enjoying a little bit of the sunshine that's finally coming out. I feel like we've had storms for so long that now we've got a little bit of sun. I just feel so grateful for it, which is amazing. So for today's video, we are going to be doing an Adenola haul. Wait a second, look at this bag. How awesome is this? How cool is that? It's so huge, it's such a big bag. We are gonna be doing a huge Adenola haul. I went to the Adenola sample sale. I've got a lot to say about it. I've got a lot to say about it and we'll do a debrief, but I got quite a few bits and I'm going to do a little bit of a try on haul with you guys to show you what I got and how they look on. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. As always, if you enjoy this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. It means the absolute world. I literally can't stress that enough. Um, it's so exciting. Every time I see just one of you has joined the group, it's so exciting. It's just, yeah, it's incredible. And I want there to be more of you. I want us to have this most amazing community. I won't yabber on about it, but please do like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get on with the rest of this video. Okay, so I went to the Adenola sample sale. It was about a week ago, I think, a week and a half, and it was in Leeds. Um, mm, it was intense, guys, I'm not gonna lie. That was probably the most intense sample sale I have ever gone to. It was so stressful. Um, in essence, there were, there was a lot of people. Hi, Nelly. Hi, you coming up? Oh, come on now. There were a lot of people um, and in the process of that, the queues were just absolutely, oh Nelly, stop now. The queues were absolutely huge. I, I basically, I had a big nightmare with the trains because I was gonna get the train Sheffield to Leeds, um, but they all got canceled. So I was kind of in the train station, didn't know what to do. And um, Tom kind of offered to drive me to Leeds to go to the sale, which is just, insane he's a little literal sweetheart um but yeah so we drove to Leeds and um we got there at 8 30 and the sale started at 10. we were so so far back in the queue it was ridiculous um we were stood there for quite a while so obviously the queue started moving at 10. credit to Adenola because they actually gave us all little free coffees from their coffee van which was super cute um, but yeah, it was just really, really intense. I'll try and have a look if I can say when I got into the building. Okay, I got into the building at 12.45 and I didn't, I didn't manage to pay at 12.55. So yeah, it was pretty intense. I, um, Holly and Taria had sent me like a few things that they were hoping to get, which just didn't happen. And I did feel kind of bad, but like, as you can imagine, all the leggings, gone all the hoodies were gone it was just it was crazy it was actually mental um but there were a few bits that I did manage to get that I was really happy with I just yeah felt like it should come with a caveat that it was really intense I think if anyone's interested in going to sample sales like this there is no point going unless you are getting there really really early I was talking to the girl at the desk and she was saying that basically some people got there at 3 a.m. Like there were girls with their camper chairs and their blankets that got there at 3 a.m. to be at the front of the queue for the sale. So like, yeah, the discounts though, they were good. They were really good. I think I got a screenshot actually of what the prices were. So they had basically posters up like this. So the prices were for leggings, 12 pounds, sports bras, 10, hoodies, 20, sweatshirts, 20, sweatpants, 12 uh tops 10 trousers 20 shorts 5 skirts 10 unitards 15 uh swimwear which i thought was cool that swimwear was included was five which is just crazy um socks were five pound free pack of socks was 12 pound bags were eight pound and caps were 10 pound um yeah i feel like if i'd got there earlier um there was a lot more that i would have liked to have got but say la vie that didn't happen for me but i still did get quite a few bits that i'm really happy with so let's let's go let's let's dive in um what should we go for first 
This one I'm really actually quite happy with. Let me um, turn it so it's the right way around. So one of the first pieces that I got, that I actually had been hoping to get, it was on my list of like top items that I really wanted to find in the sale, is one of the grey unitard. So it's a complete full piece set. Uh, it's got like the legs and then at the top with the long sleeves. I really, really wanted one of these. I um, I saw them on Instagram and I thought they looked super cozy. Um, I don't, I had tried it on in Selfridges and I didn't love it. I was a bit 50-50 on it, but then, so I, I tried it on at Selfridges. I was a bit 50-50 on it and I thought, I just wasn't certain if it looked great on me. But then when I saw it was going to be in the sample sale, I just thought, for 15 quid, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. I wasn't willing to risk it at full price. But for 15 quid, I was willing to give it a go. I feel like this will be quite a nice one to just have on around the house with a hoodie over the top or a jumper. Um, and I thought it was just something that was really cozy. But there is also a part of me that feels like I look like a bit of a giant baby. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. But yeah. I'm torn on that one, but I'm happy I brought it. That was item number one. So the next item I got is one of the little gym unitards. I feel like that is super cute. I do really like the colour and I feel like you've kind of got to have faith that when the sun starts to come out and spring and summer are happening, like this will be quite a fun little thing to wear, but it's just got little shorts and then the top and it's got the sports bra in it, um, which I thought was quite nice. Again, this was 15 pounds. I just felt like this was quite a nice one to chuck like an oversized t-shirt on. And I thought like going for like early morning dog walks with Nelly and this would be quite cute. Um, and then also just, kind of going out for coffee in this and going to the gym in this. I wore my other Adenola unitard quite a bit during the summer last year. So I'm hoping I'll be able to wear this one and kind of like interchange them a little bit. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that one too. I do feel like 15 pound, they are quite a bargain. So I am pretty pleased, especially when it's like, you imagine you'd probably spend a good like 20, 30 pound on leggings. So for me, I felt like that was quite a good price. So after that, everything starts to get very, very summery. Obviously they're trying to get rid of the old stock. I get it. Um, so things do get very summery, but I'm here for it and hopefully you guys are too. So, oh my God, I got the brown Adenola trousers. They have these kind of like branded uh, drawstrings on them. And then they're just this plain brown material. Um, it feels like very light, very cottony. I thought it would be quite cute for kind of like going on summer walks when you kind of want to be more covered up. Um, I also thought like pairing this with a bikini could be quite cute. I learned the lesson last year that actually covering up during the summer, especially like my skin, it burns. It burns so fast and it burns bad. And I used to try and fight it. Like I'd, I'd put on my sun cream religiously and I'd try and fight it. But honestly, I'd be having to re like reapply sun cream every 15 minutes. Like it's it's just that type of skin, um, which is, you know, it's fine. I'm grateful for what I have. But I did learn that my life is a lot easier if I just cover my skin up during the sun, especially at those peak midday hours. So I felt like this was just perfect for doing that. I felt like it just kind of, yeah, I felt like it was an easy way to do it whilst still trying to be a little bit fashionable. So I was quite pleased with them. And then kind of along the same lines, I also thought that I might as well, while I'm there, get the little shorts. I am so excited about these. I'm hoping they're not gonna be too big, um, but I can't imagine they would be. But yeah, I just feel like I do really like the drawstrings on them. I think they are really cute. I feel like they add a little bit of something. But again, I feel like just this on with like a little crop top could be really, really pretty. So I quite like them. 
I am so glad there. And they have also got pockets. I didn't mention that before, but they have got little pockets here, um, which I think is really, really nice. Then, obviously, just to finish the set, I did have to get the matching top. I actually got this in a few sizes too big to be honest i do think i probably should have gone down a size i maybe overdid it um but they don't let you try anything on in there you kind of have to just hope you've got the right size which is stressful um but i got this i think i got this in an extra large but it is literally just the matching shirt it's quite cute i've tried to roll the sleeves up to make it fit a little bit better um and then it's got the matching kind of tag at the back which is really really sweet but yeah, I feel like this is a nice, again, quite a nice like little beach cover up. I feel like you could wear it going out walking or on a hike. But also I feel like you could just wear that with your bikini when you just need to cover up a little bit at the beach. If you're like me with the sun, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I just thought it was really, really sweet. It's got a little pocket again. It's just pretty. I just feel like it's just pretty and I like the color. Why do I you want me by your side? Like all the time. Along with the kind of summery items, I also got this little crop top. I can't lie, I don't feel like it fits me the best. Uh, I'm not sure what size I got it in and it doesn't say on it anymore, but I think I probably should have gone down a size. Um, but it's just a little kind of light coloured knitted crop top. I knew it was a risk when I got it, to be honest. I did know that it was a bit of a risky one, especially because the straps aren't adjustable, um, which is annoying because I do really, really like it. And I just think it would look so cute with the other bits that I've got. But like, it just doesn't fit me as well. I'll try, I'll see if I can try it on. No promises, because if I try it on and it looks absolutely awful and there's body parts dangling out, I will not be sharing that. But yeah, I think I might see if Holly or Taria kind of like the look of that one. And if they do, they can have it. Because it is a pretty top and it is literally new. So I feel like it. <laughs> I feel like it needs to have a little bit of life put into it, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that one. And then I also got, I'm quite excited for this actually. I actually did treat myself to some swimwear. Um, I was so happy these were in the sale because I wanted some Adenola swimwear last year and I didn't get any because it was quite expensive and I just wasn't in the position to pay that much for my swimwear. Um, but everything happens for a reason, guys. Everything happens for a reason. And I have now got the Adenella swimwear. So I've got it in a small, um, so it's a small little green triangle bikini. They had the green one and then they had the stripy one. They did have a brown set that was kind of like square cut. I did love it as much, I just wanted something really classic like the uh, triangle cut but I did think it was super super cute. Um, so I got it in the triangle bra and then I got it in the matching bottoms as well. I got the bottoms in a medium so the bra is in a small but the bottoms are in a medium if that's helpful to anyone. Um, and then the final bits I got I actually got two of these, but I can only show you one because I've already started wearing one of them, which is so bad. But I got these little um, tops. So they are like little slightly cropped long sleeve um, like workout tops. So, so they've got that like a workout material. They've got the logo at the back of the neck. These tops are so nice to wear they have the kind of like the little thumb hole bits uh, at the side which i think are really really nice and i just love the colors so i got one in like this gray color this is in a medium and then i also got a medium in the black one as well i've just put the black one in the wash because i literally just wore it like all week last week it was so comfy and i'm already starting to eye up this one i can't lie i'm now wondering whether this week's like a gray week um but i probably should save it i think but yeah i just think they are so nice on 
um, and they are so comfy to wear too. So yeah, I absolutely love these ones as well. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know what your favourite piece was out of this whole sale. Would you ever go to a sample sale? Because I don't know, I was so happy with the bits I came away with, but the actual effort it took to get them, it was a lot, um, which maybe has made me appreciate them more. I don't know. Um, I'd be keen to hear your thoughts. What were the best items that I managed to find? What would you have been looking for? What do I need to try and get next time? If there is a next time. Um, I really, really love to hear all of your opinions. Um, so do comment them down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for any hauls in the future, let me know because I absolutely love doing them for you all. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait to see you next time. If you haven't already, do not forget to like and subscribe. It means the absolute world and I will see you all next time. Have a great week guys. Bye. Hello.